it's spring. That means turkey season and bear season. This year I'm gonna do something a little bit different. The last several bears I've taken, I've taken in Canada with archery equipment and absolutely love doing so. But I've got a bucket list item that I'm gonna to try to complete this year. I am going to Washington State to the Quinault Indian Reservation and attempt to take a bear from the ground with a handgun. Welcome to my 460 Smith & Wesson. Fire and hold. The Quinault Indian Reservation. Chitwin Guide Services. I stayed at a local motel that was very nice. The views were spectacular. And uh, this place had a, a, a restaurant attached to it, so I had everything I needed within walking distance until I left for the, uh, the bear stand. I got with the guys and they instantly put me out on a stand. I sat there for a little bit watching the Mountain Jays play around. This guy was quite the movie star. He was there for several hours. And as I sat there, a, a nice bear came in. Couldn't really tell how big he was, and he didn't give me a super good shot. So I passed it thinking that he would show up in the next couple of days. Okay, I'm uh, leaving my rough bear camp and heading back out to the stand here in just a couple minutes. As you can see behind me how rough it is, it's, uh, it's terrible. I, I can't hardly stand it. Just kidding. <laughs> this is probably one of the best take your wife hunting with you places I've ever been. There are several things to see up and down the ocean, as well as most of the motels up and down this, this beach have hot tubs, spas, swimming pools. So therefore, if you're looking for a place to either take the wife hunting with you or take her with you while you hunt, you might want to look this place up because it's it's pretty interesting around here. So we're headed off to the, the stand. I saw a big bear last night. I tried to get him on video. He stopped short of the uh, of our area and didn't present a very good shot. So I thought he was actually coming all the way in. So I didn't press the issue, but um, Hopefully he'll he'll decide it's time to come in tonight. So wish me luck. Well, end of day two. I come out to the pickup spot and uh, it was pretty dark in the timber, right out of camera light. So uh, I'm back up here waiting for my ride and saw absolutely nothing. Nothing's hit the bait today, so um, that kind of stuff happens. So we'll see where they want me to go tomorrow. Maybe even the same spot. I did see a big bear in there, so hopefully in the next day or so he'll show up again. So here we go.
I figured I would do a little wrap up so far four days in Washington I did have a bear come in last night and I think I got some decent footage of him it was starting to get late because in this rainforest for example the Sun set at 830 and at 830 five or so I couldn't see anything on the monitor of the camera it got that dark that quick once I got out to the vehicle everything seemed to be so much better uh, however in the timber if you can't uh, you can't see much past sunset so I'm off uh, jump in a couple of vehicles over there and I'll be sitting on the bait here pretty quick it was a pretty slow rainy night not much moving at all. The next morning was my last morning to sit down and sip coffee looking at this view from the restaurant. Just absolutely incredible. Then I got to meet up with Phil Chopper Martin, my new guide for the day. He really had a lot of knowledge of the area, a lot of knowledge of Indian traditions, and knowledge of the bears. We knew there were three bears hitting this bait, and it was up to me to finish the deal if one of them came in. I uh, just put a shot on a, a big black bear um, and uh, I forgot to put my muffs down so <laughs> when, the, when the gun went off it scared me and I closed my eyes so I didn't see anything after that he's not there but I don't think he's too far because I think uh, I uh, squeezed the trigger and uh, double lunged him so I'm waiting for Phil to get here uh, I don't know the territory that well and uh, once he gets here surely he's not too far <sighs> wish me luck in this rainforest but it's unforgiving there's no light and in fact yesterday on a drizzly day I was out of camera light 15 20 minutes earlier than the sunset now this guy has either been used for tracking That's or he's I'm been thinking. a nuisance someplace but he has a tag and he has a collar on him we'll contact the proper authorities and uh, make sure that gets back to them but beautiful bear handgun handgun yeah that's awesome I had lots of help because there was a lot of meat to go around I've been on a lot of bear hunts in my day and while I may have been to places with more bears or even bigger bears, the experience, the views, the traditions in this particular area definitely make it a place to visit. You can take the family and let them go off on their own, experience the views along the ocean while you sit in a bear stand and possibly take a nice one. Definitely worth the trip.